DIY deep conditioners, store bought deep conditioners. You may be team DIY, so you've never used a store bought deep conditioner before. Or you may be team store bought deep conditioner, so you've never used a DIY deep conditioner. In this video, I'm going to be doing a side by side comparison, showing you the pros and the cons, so you can make a better decision on which deep conditioner is best for you. Let's get right into it. Here we have our store bought deep conditioner. It's said to be infused with avocado oil and black castor oil. At the end of this video, I'll be revealing the name. We have our DIY deep conditioner, and here's what it contains avocado, egg, black castor oil, honey, and olive oil. And here is how you make this mix this is coconut milk, black castor oil, honey, olive oil. Mix, mix, mix. And then I added the egg whites. Voila, we're ready. Here, I'm just wetting my hair and rinsing off the pre pool before shampooing my hair. I always wash my hair before applying a deep conditioner. For the rest of the video, I'm going to refer to store bought conditioner as SBDC because saying it repeatedly became a tongue twister for me. I have applied the deep conditioners to my hair on the right side i used the sbdc and on the left i used the diy dc you can see that on the diy side my twists are chunkier and fuller and my curl pattern is more defined i noticed while applying the diy dc my hair was easier to detangle so the diy dc had more slip compared to the SBDC. You can see my twist clumping together very nicely or just more visibly with the DIY. But with the SBDC, my curl pattern wasn't really well defined, but my hair absorbed all the SBDC more than with the DIY DC. The DIY DC left me with particles on my hair strands. I don't know if you could even see that with the DIY side you can still see some whitish particles some products still hanging on my hair strands but then you can see that with the SBDC side my hair is puffier and not that defined. So I finally rinsed out my deep conditioner. I couldn't do that yesterday, so I actually left the deep conditioner in my hair overnight. So I've rinsed it off this morning. I don't usually leave the deep conditioner that long in my hair, but I really wanted to film this video, so I waited till um, early this morning. So I haven't used any leave-in conditioner on my hair yet. On the SBDC side, I started to notice that my curl pattern was more defined. Like, I was shocked. I was like, what? what's happening here? <laughs> but then what I did was to leave out my hair. I let it shrink to see which side will stand the test of time. But both sides of my hair felt soft, felt moisturized, felt strengthened actually who else has hair that shrinks to one fourth of its size <laughs> i think it's important to note that i've ditched my combs and brushes this is my second wash day that i relied only on finger detangling and i explained why in this video so you see the natural state of my uncombed hair in the sbdc side but on the DIY side, there seemed to be kind of a pattern that reminded me of, you know, Goku or Naruto's hairstyle. Both sides felt equally soft. Both sides felt equally elastic as my hair began to dry. So to both the DIY and the store-bought deep conditioner, there are pros and there are cons. It depends on what you're going for. It depends on the look that you want. It depends on your lifestyle. However, a few minutes after letting my hair shrink, 
Oh, that's Goku na ito pa to. Oh, God. <laughs> On both sides look the same to me. Just basking in the beauty of type 4 hair. The store bought tip conditioner I used was the Mamiya Organics. And this is the first time I'm using this tip conditioner. But I think it did pretty well. Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Au revoir. <laughs>